there's so much that goes into being a nurse. And I, I mean, I knew that, but I didn't really appreciate it until this year. Like we do, it sounds like conceited, but we do so much for these people. There's no arguing the biggest heroes of 2020 are healthcare workers. They endure the most challenging environments for long hours to help others survive the pandemic. Most people included working from home. Nurses have continued to go above and beyond to help their patients during a time that is unfamiliar for everyone. What has been your greatest challenge since the beginning of this pandemic? And what did you do to overcome it? You know, our patients needed us the, at, at the most at this time. So, you know, not only for us to provide care to them, but, you know, some of them just want to talk. Some of them just, you know. Oh, wanna... girl, yes. <laughs> so they want to. The connection. Yes, they want to talk. Yes, it's like the human connection. I don't know. I feel like sometimes, like, you felt like, you wanted to be like that like person who could do everything like Superman, but, and yeah. like that maybe if you left, maybe people wouldn't see you as that or something. I think the biggest challenge is like not bringing work home. Like it's so mentally exhausting to see people like day after day. You know, a lot of times it crossed my mind, like, is this job even worth it? Trying to identify what was the biggest priority for me and putting that first. Seeing you like lose uh, your passion in healthcare, that was super heartbreaking. When you were on the couch and you're just saying like, I wanna quit. I was like, what? You are one of the most passionate people, one of the most passionate providers, healthcare providers I've ever, I've ever met. What have you learned about your job and yourself this past year. Oh, girl, this one is heavy. <laughs> Once a nurse, always a nurse. You know, when you're a nurse, you're you're a nurse 24-7. And you hold that to a high regard. You're always happy to help those in need, especially our loved ones. But it affected you so much. You didn't take care of yourself. So when you go through residency, they tell you, eat when you can, sleep when you can, shit when you can, you know? And it's mm -hmm. that philosophy that gets ingrained in like, like young doctors' minds. I feel like people always say like, how do you, I couldn't do what you do. Like, how do you do it? And I'm like, it's a, it's a mental game. Like people don't realize you have to put in the work to stay positive because it's hard. And I was just like, man, you're sleep deprived. You're not feeling well. You're not eating on time. These people are like wrapped around the building. And like on top of that, no one has mercy on you. You know, they don't think about what you're going through. Everyone just wants to like, hey, COVID swap, test me, give me this. So quitting would have been the easy part. And that's not really why I cried, you know, like, you know, why I broke down. It was really like knowing that I can't quit. You know, like if I were to quit, who else would be, you know, better in, in this position? Um. You kind of just got to remember why you got involved in, in nursing sometimes. Um. You know, we're here to provide care. We're here to provide, you know, the highest quality of care we can. But it's just more than just passing medications. 